Hi everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new, hi again. So this is my channel. I love to do DIYs on a budget, Dollar Tree DIYs, thrift flips, farmhouse rustic decor, wreaths, and seasonal decor. So you know what to do. If you like my channel, you need to hit that red subscribe button. I'd love to have you. Also, give me a thumbs up. I like, and also comments because I love to hear what you guys think. You can also follow me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. And also I have a wreath shop. It's called Chris's Wreath Designs. It is an Etsy shop. I will have all those links down below. So today is all about unbe-wreathable and our hosts are CJ and Jackie and Christine and I will have their links down below as well. More about that in a minute but first DIY number one. So the first DIY, I'm going to take this, um, some ribbon that I've had and that fabric there that I got from Dollar Tree. And these were florals from fall, I believe, but they still have them out. And what I did is I took this wreath form that you could get at the Dollar Tree. I know some Dollar Trees, are, you can't find these, but I'm sure they're going to come out soon, guys. So just be patient. And what I'm doing is I'm just laying the fabric down and then I'm gluing around the edges because that's going to be the outside, the inside part of my wreath form to make it look like an actual honeycomb. So then I'm going to take these and I took the florals off of the little pick and then I just um, clipped the ends of them where they took them off. And now I'm going to put a little bead of glue around each one of the wires on this frame and I'm just going to glue it down. And that's going to give this some texture and make it look like a real honeycomb. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm just going to keep going around. And I filled this whole thing in. And I believe I only used two of those picks to um, fill this whole wreath form in. So just so you know, if you see them at the Dollar Tree, you can use any color you want, though. This is the color I used. I wanted it not to be a yellow. I wanted it to be a little bit different. And then I took one of them, and I made the little circle for the hole for the bee's nest. So I just went around, and I just clipped off the extra and made a little circle like a wreath. And I just made the little hole in the middle, and there you go. Super easy, you guys, this was to make. Um, if you want it to be a little more sturdy, you could do a backing on it. Like you could put, um, st you know, the styrofoam boards from the Dollar Tree. You could buy one of those and glue that to the back so it's a little more sturdy. But I also took some of these bees. I got these at the Dollar Tree as well. They come in a little package. They have these ladybugs and I forget what else. Maybe those were the only two. And I made a little bow as well. And I am going to put this little sunflower in the middle of my bow. Now, I didn't show you making my bow because... I'm not all that great with bow making, but I am practicing because I do make wreaths and I use my bodabra for it. So really easy. And then what I did is I just took a little bit of glue, put it down, and then I glued down my little bees onto my nest. And I think this turned out super cute. I absolutely love it. I am going to back mine though with, um, I put a hanger on the back as well too, which you'll see me do that in a minute. So there it is all done. And then what I did is I took this little tool. You could use like a little screwdriver or anything just to punch a little hole. And I fed it through underneath where my bow was so you can't see it. And then I just put like a um, zip tie. And there you go. All done. Super easy, you guys. So today is all about unbe wreathable. So we're supposed to make one wreath and then some bees themed um, items. There is a playlist. I will have the links down below. And these are our hosts. Make sure you check them out. I will have the links to their channels down below. So now on to DIY number two. So I'm going to take some more picks from the Dollar Tree. Um, some more ribbon <laughs> that I had. I'm um, going to use this yarn, some twine, and a different pattern of a bee cone. I got this at um, Michael's. No, sorry, Joann's. And it's super pretty, you guys. I love this. This one was more of like a rustic um, honeycomb um, pattern on the fabric, and I love it. And then I got this yarn on sale at Hob uh, Hobby Lobby, and it was the perfect color to match this fabric. So I'm going to use this this time to put around my wreath frame. So what I did, I did the same thing as the other one. I glued it down the metal to the actual fabric, and then I cut it out with my scissors 
And I also used my little blade to make sure that I got really close to the edges. And now I'm just going around with my yarn and I'm just putting a little bead of glue on each of the little pieces of the um, wreath form. And then I'm just gonna keep wrapping it around. And when I get to the end, I just cut the piece off and it looks like it's together, you know, and it just turns out super cute. So there's a couple, of, I wanted to show you guys a couple different ways that you could do this in case you can't find like those little floral fall pieces from the Dollar Tree. You can do this too with yarn. Very, very simple. So I just wanted to give you guys like a few different options. You could also use um, like um, some of the floral, uh, what do you call it? You could use twine. You could use that too, like the bigger rope twine at the Dollar Tree. But this is that one that has the wire in it from the Dollar Tree, the twine. And what I did is I just wrapped it around in a circle and then like kind of, you know, put it together so that it would stay together because th there's a wire in it. And then I just made my little round circle and that's gonna be my little hole to go into my little beehive. And I just used a bead of glue, went around the edges and glued it down. And that was it for that one. Super cute. And then what I did is this time, instead of making a regular bow, I'm gonna make a messy bow. So that I, I used my little bow dab. This isn't bow dabber, is it? No. This is one of them. I can't remember. They're all so different. There's Easy Bow Maker and Bow Dabra. But I used this one and I took little strips of different kinds of fabric. Um, what do you call it? Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm so tired. I can't even think. Um, <laughs> of my ribbon and I just made little strips and I just piled them on top of each other. There's no right way or wrong way to do a messy bow, okay? That was just to keep them together and then I just took a simple zip tie, zip tied them together and then took the excess off and then I just kind of, and that other piece you see underneath, you see those at the Dollar Tree, those ribbons that have like the little holes in them. I thought that would look, give it some more texture. So I put that on there as well because I had a piece left over and then I just glued that to the top of my beehive and then next that pick that we used to make the other beehive, now I'm gonna use some of the little green pieces that were on it. See, everything, use everything you got, you guys. That's what I do. <laughs> I try to use everything. I just put a little glue on the ends, and then I just put three little sprigs of these little um, leaf pieces underneath where my bow is, just to give it a little more something something. And then I'm also going to take these little berries that are yellow and like kind of have an orangey color to them. They kind of look gold to me. And I thought it matched really good with this. So I'm going to stick that right in the middle of my bow. And I think this one turned out so cute. Now you could put some bees on this too if you wanted to. So then I wanted to add something to the top because you could see my hanger that I added to it. So I was like, you know what, let's take some of these little floral pieces I had in my stash. I just took them off the pick. I stuck them on the back and had them kind of sticking up from the back. And then I just put a piece of felt on the back to help them stay down. And there it is, you guys. And then of course, I took my little sunflower. You get these tiny sunflowers at um, Hobby Lobby. And I got them when they were 40% off of their florals or 50% off. And there you go, you guys. And this is the other way that you can do your bee, bee honeycomb wreath. So now it's DIY number three. So now this one, we're gonna change it up and I'm gonna take one of these chalkboard signs at, from the Dollar Tree. One of these little bees that are on the little stem, I got that at Hobby Lobby. But you can also see them, um, they have them all over in the craft stores. So what I did is I put tape around the edges and I'm gonna use my antique wax and I am just going to use that to go all the way around the edges, the sides, and the back of my little sign. So I just put it on everything and I'm just wiping it on with a wipey. And next I'm going to take some of this bubble wrap that I had and I am going to trace it out on my little um frame and then I took some of this golden yellow that I got it's a folk art paint it's acrylic paint and I just painted it on where I traced in the inside part of that shape and now I am going to just stamp it down on top 
like so. And look at you made a little honeycomb. Isn't that cute? And then I have this stencil that I had. I got this on Amazon and it just says B. Um, oh my God, what does it say? I can't remember. Oh, be happy. Duh. <laughs> and I just stenciled it on with some ch white chalk paint by Waverly. And I'm just using a stencil brush from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just pouncing it up and down. And you don't want to have a lot of paint on it because you don't want it to bleed through under your stencil. So just make sure you use a little bit. And then I just used my little thing and I picked it up and there you go. And then I took that little B and I just cut off the wire that was on it because I'm just going to glue that on right onto my sign. And I think this turned out so cute, so rustic. I love rustic decor. So this is just screaming farmhouse and rustic to me and I love it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, which one's your favorite down below? Le let me know in the comments. I'd love to know. So now DIY number four, I'm going to take this birdhouse from the Dollar Tree, this wooden birdhouse. I'm going to take this glue stick that is actually, it's a honey glue stick, believe it or not. You get them on Amazon. I will have that link down below too. And then I have these little bees again and some scrapbook paper and these picks that I had in my stash, these floral picks. This is some bee, um, I had a whole bunch of this bee themed, um, scrapbook paper but you could find scrapbook paper at Hobby Lobby or Michael's they always carry all different kinds and what I did is I took some more of this um honey honey oh my god I got honey on the brain um this yellow gold ish paint and I painted the front of this first and I also painted the um bottom of it as well and then what I did is I traced out my little um roof of my birdhouse okay so I just went around it and traced it out because the wood the one that looks like wood grain that scrapbook paper I am going to put that on the top with some Mod Podge so I just used a little bit of Mod Podge and I squeezed it on and then I smoothed it out with my brush and now I'm going to take that piece that I cut out of scrapbook paper and I'm going to smooth it out on the top and that's going to be my roof of my little birdhouse. Now this birdhouse has bees on it so we're gonna make it look like a little bead house. <laughs> so then I just took my other piece and I did the same thing on that side. Then we're gonna take the other scrapbook paper which looks like a honeycomb but you can't tell on video and I don't know why. It just looks yellow but there is honeycomb on this I swear. And what I did is I just folded it to the edge of bottom, this was the only way I could think to cut it to make it fit perfectly. And then I folded my fingers and made the indentations on the side. And then I just cut it out. And I did that for both sides and the back of this house. And then I just used my Mod Podge and I just put it down in there. And it fits perfectly when you do it that way. So whenever you have things like this, if you fold your scrapbook paper and indent it and use your fingers to make the indentation, it comes out every single time perfect when you cut it out. So that's what I do. <laughs> and then I just slide it in there and I did both sides with the yellow as well. Now I'm going to use this Distress Oxide. This is Vintage Photo and one of my stencil brushes. And I am just going to make this look a little bit rustic and aged you know, like it's worn out. I don't want it to look brand new. And uh, you could skip this part if you don't want to, but this is what I do. I like the rustic look. So I use this to do that. And I love using this type of ink pad. It's a Distress Oxide. And you can find this in the scrapbooking stamp where the stamp pads are and all that stuff. In Hobby Lobby or any um, craft store. Like Michael's has them too, I believe. And then I just went around the whole thing with it. I just kind of like did a little bit of a dry brushing on the front, the back, the sides, the bottom, the top roof, the edges of the roof, just the whole thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those little bees. Oh, first I'm using my honey glue stick. So I will have this in my Amazon shop link down below where you can purchase them on Amazon and you get a little packet of them. And it looks like honey, you guys. And I put a little bit on the opening to make it look like there was honey dripping out of it. And next, I'm going to glue down my little bees where you see the bees that are actually um, carved out on the wood. And I'm just going to stick the bees in those areas. 
and I put a little bit of that honey glue so it looks like there's honey on them and like they're in the little beehive. I just love the way this turned out, you guys. It's so cute. I love these little houses that they came out with at the Dollar Tree. I think they're great. And then what I did is I took a sunflower. I got these at the Dollar Tree a while back, but you could purchase these at Hobby Lobby too. They have the package of them. I have seen them. And then I just took some floral picks that I had. I had these little white flower looking things and I just stuck those on my roof on both sides. I did a couple pieces on each side and that's the top of my roof. And then in the front, I wanted to put some greenery. So I used this greenery that I had on one of my picks and I just glued it down where you see they show the greenery you know, coming up from the bottom of the house. So I just put that over it. So I got real stuff instead of something that's carved out. I just think it looks more high end and I really like the way it looks. And, and then I just did the other greenery on the other side, same thing. And this turned out so cute, you guys. I love doing bee. I, I, you guys gotta let me know what's your favorite for spring and summer. I love bees. <laughs> so, I mean, I love making the bee decor. I think it's just so cute. But I also like lemons, so I'm kind of partial to both. But let me know which one is your favorite down below. And then I took just these little green, yellow things that I had, and I stuck those down, and then I stuck this little other greenery piece I had. So I just basically took whatever I had in my stash, <laughs> which I have a lot, so that's what I did. But they have florals and everything at all the craft stores right now, especially for spring. So just pick and choose whatever you like and make your own. And I know the Dollar Tree still has these houses because I see them all the time. Every time I go in, they have them, so... And then I just stuck some more of the little white, um, they look like little tiny white flowers. Super cute. And I stuck those in there and then some of these yellow ones that I had. So I just kind of got creative and just kind of kept adding stuff as I went. Um, there is no right or wrong way. You just do it to your taste and that's what I like. And you add as much or as little as you want because it's your craft so you do what you want. What I do is just for inspiration. So you guys let me know what you think of this one. I think it turned out super cute, but let me know down below. So now DIY number five, this is my last DIY. I took one of these bee wreath forms from the Dollar Tree and also a half of a styrofoam ball that I also got at Hobby Lobby. Some of the Spanish uh, moss and these little pipe cleaners that you get at Hobby Lobby, some ribbon, and also some fabric. One is from Hobby Lobby and the other one's from the Dollar Tree. So this yellow fabric I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna use that. And then I'm gonna cut strips of this black ribbon that I also got at the Dollar Tree to make my little bee, um, you know, have its black and yellow stripes. So I just kept going across and I just cut the strips and I just laid my wreath form on top of the fabric, kind of like I did with the um, the honeycombs, the um, actual bee um, hive, I should say. I did the same thing with the actual bee that we're doing here. Now, I did spray paint this bee because it's red. I don't know why they made it red. Maybe, you know, you can make it be a, I don't know. It could be a ladybug, I guess, but it looks like a bee to me. So what I did is I spray painted it black and so that it matched everything. And then what I did is I went in and then I just glued down these um, stripes onto my um, fabric. And I did this first so that it would be easier for me just to lift it up then and put my wreath form on top of the um, strips of... Uh, the strips of, oh my gosh, the stri I can't talk tonight, you guys. Please forgive me. The strips of ribbon. And then I just went around and the same thing I did with the um, beehive I'm doing here. I'm just going along the rim. And it doesn't matter if you see the glue right now because you're not going to see it. Just like you didn't see it with the other ones, we're going to be covering that up with the moss. So don't worry if the glue comes out a little bit. You're not gonna see it, guys, so it doesn't matter. And then I used this stripe one for the wings, and I got this in the clearance section at Hobby Lobby. Always go look in your clearance section at Hobby Lobby where 
their um, fabric is. Always go there, not just down the regular clearance aisle. This is where the fabric is because there's always ribbon on clearance and there's always fabric at mine. So always check it out because that's where I got this and this fabric was only two bucks and I got a lot of it. So, And I use this for the wings, So, but you can use any fabric that you choose. And all I did was cut it out and then I'm going to take my Spanish moss and I just pulled it and made a long strip with it. And then I'm going to use a lot of hot glue and I'm going to start gluing it down to my the outside of my wreath form to shape my bee. So I'm just keep scrunching it together and keep gluing it down. Use a lot of glue to do this. So make sure you use your finger protectors or something to protect your fingers because you don't want to burn yourself because it will go through the Spanish moss. So I just kept doing that and I kept did the, I did this all the way around the whole wreath form with the Spanish moss. So I just take another bunch, you'll see in a minute, I'm gonna pull it out and I'm just going to pull it so that there's a nice long piece, kind of like you're working with dough, only it's Spanish moss, I guess you could say. See, I'm just pulling it because it stays together pretty good. And, and it will make a mess, but that's okay, just clean it up. <laughs> and then I just kept going and I kept doing my wings and I just went around the whole thing except for the head. That part we're going to put that half styrofoam ball that you, that you can purchase at um, Hobby Lobby. It has them in a bag and you get, I you get like four of them I think in a bag. And I just kept doing that around the wings and I wanted to show you this part because I wanted you guys to see exactly what I was doing. So that you kind of understand. But you could do this also with the beehive as well if you wanted to. You could use the Spanish moss. And then what I did is I just trimmed it all with my scissors. And I didn't show that on video because there's no reason. It's just trimming. And now what I'm doing is I'm taking a pipe cleaner and I'm using these floral pins. You find them in the floral section where the styrofoam is in that at Hobby Lobby. And I just stuck those in so that my... I wanted to make sure that my head was going to stay on my bee. <laughs> so I put the pipe cleaner through there. And this is just a regular black pipe cleaner, not the ones I showed in the beginning that look like bugs, which you'll see in a minute. But And I just tied it around the wreath form real tight. Now that wasn't going to hold it by itself. So now I'm using hot glue and I'm going to glue all around the whole head of the bee. And then I took those pipe cleaners and you could use regular pipe cleaners to do this. I thought I was gonna do something different with them, but I didn't. So I just used them anyways. And what I did is I just wrapped it around the um, antennas that are on the wreath form to make my little antennas. Now what I did is I took a bunch of greenery and I don't show you this. I just put them together a bunch on each side of the same thing and then I just wrapped it with jute twine and glued it together like that. And then I just glued that down to my bee and then I made a bow and I glued my bow on top of that. And that's it, you guys. Super easy. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to check everyone out down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And as always, remember, stay crafty. Bye.